Prescription drug use is rising among people of all ages, and use increases with age. Five out of six people aged 65 and older are taking at least one medication, and almost half of the elderly are taking three or more medications. Not only when we get older, but as we live our day-to-day -day lives, it is very easy to make medication errors, such as missing your scheduled time to take your drugs, taking the wrong pills, or even taking the wrong types of herbal supplementation. Here we are going to show you steps you can take to make sure your treatment is going as smoothly as possible. You might be wondering, why should I prepare for a doctor's visit? I have never done this before. Why start now? It has been proven throughout time that the most effective method of improving health is through behavior change. Doctor's visits usually last 15 to 20 minutes, and it is important to know what you want addressed during that time. So when you walk out of that office, you are confident with taking control of your health. Here is a tip of what should be done before your visit. Preparing for your doctor's visit. Here are three tips of what should be done before your visit. 1. Prepare a list of all the medications you are taking. Be sure to include medications prescribed by all your specialized physicians, over-the-counter medication, and herbal or cultural treatments. 2. Note everything you have had an allergic reaction to. Include allergies to medications, food, animals, and inanimate objects. 3. Prepare a list of questions you want to ask. Here are some important and relevant questions you can ask when being prescribed a new drug. What is the purpose of this medication and how does it help me? When should I take this medication? How will my new medication make me feel and when should I contact you or go to the hospital when something is wrong? Does the drug you are prescribing interfere with any of my other medications? Are there any changes in my diet that can help or stop with the effects of my medication? Will my insurance cover the cost of this medication? Is there something in my daily life I can change to avoid or decrease the use of some, so many medications? When should I make an appointment to come back and see if the new medication is therapeutic? Reminders: Never hesitate to speak up about any issues you have. If during your visit you do not understand what the physician is saying, ask them to clarify the information. Remember to ask for a copy of test results or lab work. It is helpful to know what is going on and you can take your results to other physicians to avoid repeating the same test. If you are afraid you will not remember all the information your doctor provided, ask for written instructions. Bring a family member or a friend with you or bring a recorder, but always ask the physician's permission to record the conversation. If you have questions after your visit, never hesitate to call your doctor and qu ask questions. Let's continue a change and take control of our health because no one knows us better than ourselves. There's no room for error when taking medications as an older adult. For there to be a therapeutic level in your system at all times, it is important to not mix up medications and take them as prescribed at all the right times. Now that we are in the 21st century, there are many different types of technologies and strategies that help the elderly to take the medications correctly. Number one, take a picture. You can place a picture on a frequently passed by wall in your home. You can put different times of the day and put a different picture under that time with the exact medications that you should be taking at that time. Number two, use a weekly pill organizer. There are different types of pill organizers that can be used to help split up pills and organize them to taking the right pills every day. For those who take multiple pills multiple times a day, they even have two or even three times a day pill organizers. They also come in different colors so that you can associate a different color with a different time. Number three, consistency. Set a pattern for yourself for taking your medication. Try taking them at the same time every day, such as breakfast or after brushing your teeth or before going on your morning walk. And number four, voice service. Database Systems Corporation has something called a voice reminder service. It's an automated service that can call you at a specific time to give you a reminder to take your medications. The best way to remember to take your medications is to be creative and use what works for you. Some people have their grandchildren call them at specific times. Some have their friends that call each other, remind each other to take their drugs. 
Be innovative and resourceful, and the solution will come to you. Here are some important things to avoid when taking your medication. Things to avoid. Polypharmacy. It's when a person is taking multiple medications at the same time due to inadequate communication between healthcare providers and results in duplicated me medications, inappropriate medications, potentially unsafe dosage, and potentially preventable drug-to-drug -drug, drug interaction. The potential for an interaction or adverse effect is only 6% when two drugs are taken, but the risk increases to 50% with five drugs and reaches to 100% with eight or more. Self-prescribing and self-treatment is using former prescriptions and prescriptions borrowed from a friend or over-the-counter drugs. Some of the issues with over-the-counter drugs include excessive dose, drug interaction, adverse reaction, masking or delaying di diagnosis of serious condition. Mixing or combining medications of any kind possesses potential problems. For example, over-the-counter Tylenol or acinaminophen, if combined with other acinaminophen containing prescribed medications such as Percocet or Vicodin, can lead to liver damage because of the excessive dosage of acetaminophen. Misuse of drugs includes overuse, underuse, and contraindicated use. The more drugs taken, the more likely misuse will occur. Noncompliance and non-adherence means medications are not taken as prescribed. Adhering to treatment can prevent relapse of symptoms of serious illnesses such as diabetes, heart failure, schizophrenia, depression, asthma, and pain. Herbal supplements can provide improved outcomes to your health, but they can also have adverse or negative food or drug interactions. Supplements such as vitamins and minerals are approved by the FDA, but herbs and other non-herbal supplements are unfortunately categorized as foods and not regulated by the FDA. Because of inadequate labeling requirements, drug interactions are not on the product label of herbal supplements. Studies have found that the strength of herbal supplements can vary from brand to brand and even from batch to batch within the same brand. Risks to taking herbal supplements include the product containing the wrong parts of the herb, containing no or l so little active ingredient that it is ineffective, or being adulterated with one or more unaccounted for substances that may be dangerous. Plants have dropped or severely limited drug coverage. Non-prescription drugs and herbals are therefore used as alternatives. Surveys indicate that elders take, on average, two to four non-prescription drugs or herbals daily. The most important step in staying safe when taking supplements is to report the use of all herbs and supplements to your healthcare provider. It would be most effective to speak to your healthcare provider before starting an herb or supplement for the first time. Make sure to purchase your herbs and supplements from a reputable source, and if possible, bring in the product to your next interaction with a healthcare provider. You should only use supplements approved by the healthcare provider for the time prescribed. Most supplements must be stopped some time before going into surgery. If side effects occur within an hour or two of taking the supplement, discontinue use immediately. If the side effects continue or worsen, you should report them to the healthcare provider or go, go to the nearest emergency department. Now we've come to the end of our video. We hope that you've learned what to do when you visit the doctor's office. When is the right time to take your medication? Which medications that you're supposed to take? Things to avoid while you're taking your medication. And different types of complementary therapy that you can use while taking your medication. We are the fall senior class of 2011 and we hope this has been a great learning experience for you.